I'm trying to get you on my mind less But then again, I couldn't mind less Got me like, what's in your coffee? I hope you call me And we can talk about our hobbies, yeah Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Rochelle. Today's video is something I'm really excited about because I am doing a reading vlog. It feels like forever since I last did a reading vlog. I mean, I've been reading a lot, but I haven't vlogged any of my reading journeys. So because I haven't done one in a really long time, I thought it'd be perfect to do one right now. The book I'm gonna be reading in this reading vlog is something I'm really excited to share with you guys. It is a very popular fantasy read with a bit of romance in it. It's all over TikTok, it's all over YouTube. I see it literally everywhere. It's so popular to the point where this book is literally sold out everywhere. I ordered my copy of this book online, but it took two to three weeks just to get here. I'm sure you already know what book I'm going to be reading in this video, but if you couldn't guess, you already saw what book I'm reading in the title of this video, and that's why you clicked on it. And of course, that book is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I honestly cannot wait to read this book. It literally just came in a couple days ago. I have heard nothing but good things about this book. So many people rate it five stars. And of course, I just need to see it myself and see if it's as good as everybody says it is. I actually haven't read a lot of fantasy yet this year. This is probably my second fantasy book of the year. I think it was last year, the year before, where I read a ton of fantasy, but for some reason, I just didn't read that much this year. Even though I haven't read much fantasy this year, I still love the genre. I mean, it was probably one of my most read genres last year or the year before. This year, I've just been reading a lot of contemporary stuff, but I definitely believe reading Fourth Wing will get me back into the mood to read more fantasies. If you guys don't know what this book is about, it is about 20-year-old Violet Sword Gale, who was supposed to enter the scribe quadrant, living a quiet life among books and history. Now, the commanding general, also known as her mother, has ordered Violet to join the hundreds of candidates striving to become the elite of Navarre, Dragon Riders. But when you're smaller than everyone else and your body is brittle, death is only a heartbeat away because dragons don't bond to fragile humans. They incinerate them. With fewer dragons willing to bond than cadets, most would kill Violet to better their own chances of success. The rest would kill her just for being her mother's daughter, like Zayden Ryerson, the most powerful and ruthless wing leader in the Riders Quadrant. She'll need every edge her wits can give her just to see the next sunrise. Yet with every day that passes, the war at sight grows more deadly. The kingdom's protective wards are failing and the death toll continues to rise. Even worse, Violet begins to suspect leadership is hiding a terrible secret. Friends, enemies, lovers, everyone at Bajjiath War College has an agenda. Because once you enter, there are only two ways out, graduate or die. Doesn't this book description sound so good? I'm so excited to jump right into reading it. For those of you who haven't read this book yet, you can still watch this video because I am going to make this a spoiler-free reading vlog. Okay, let's just get into reading this book. 8 a.m. I couldn't fall asleep again Been overthinking all the little things I've said I'm sleep deprived almost every night And I wish that I wouldn't think instead I know the sun is up and I got things to do But I don't think I've got the energy to move And I go back to my dreams again But I shouldn't be sleeping when it's still Okay friends, it's been a little bit. I'm a slow reader, so I'm only two chapters in, but I just wanted to share with you a couple thoughts I had right now. So far, I've met Violet, I've met Rhiannon. I hope that's how you say her name, I'm not exactly sure. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I've also met Dylan. I think Rhiannon and Violet are gonna be great friends, or shall I say alliances. I also just wanna say that I really like Violet as a character right now. Of what I know of her and what I've seen her done so far in this book, I think she's one of those people that you just can't hate. But of course, I'm like, Violet has got to have haters, so I've also met Jack. I don't like Jack, he's just rude and arrogant. No one needs someone like that in their lives. I've also met Mira, who is Violet's sister. She's honestly such a great big sister. I've also met Violet's mom. Indeed, she is very tough. And I've also met Zayden. He's also very rude, but I don't have a really good vibe on him yet. I also want to say that even though I've only read two chapters, I feel like so much has already happened in those two chapters. I don't know if it's just this book or all fantasies and I'm just not used to because I haven't read fantasies in a while, but it's definitely very exciting and exhilarating. Where I've read it through so far, Violet has made it through Conscription Day and she is now a Dragon Rider cadet. Again, I haven't made it very far, but I will say I really like the story so far, so let's just keep reading. How long has it been? Feels like forever Noticing everything Too long, more than 
I am now 55 pages into Fourth Wing. I met a few more characters. I met Dane. Violet and Dane were best friends since they were kids and their parents are also super close as well. I did hear that this book has a really big romance element in it, but I'm not sure who the romance is between. But if the romance is between Dane and Violet, I'm not gonna fight it because their chemistry is kind of cute. But it's really sad because they can't really be friends in the writer's quadrant since they are in different years. Violet's in first year and Dane is in second year. And of course, if you're in different years, people will automatically think that you're just trying to find a way to get ahead of everybody else in your year. Yeah, so it's really sad that they can't be themselves and who they are with each other in public. But of course, Aiden calls them out in public and I'm sure a few other people around them would have heard. So I wonder how that will affect them and how people will treat them later on in the story. All right, guys, I'm getting kind of sleepy. So I will see you guys tomorrow when I continue reading this book. Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel Hello friends, it's a new day and I thought I'd give you guys a little reading update. As I keep reading this book, the story kind of gives me divergent vibes. It's just Violet being conscripted into the writer's quadrant. It's kind of like the equivalent to factions in Divergent. When I first started getting that feeling, I thought I wouldn't like the story, but I'm actually surprised to say that even though it's similar to Divergent, the story itself so far is amazing and great, but I actually kind of like the throwback to Divergent. I mean, it's kind of nostalgic. After I started getting that feeling though, I ended up watching a couple TikToks. There was no spoilers, there's just people giving a spoiler-free review of this book and people have been saying it's a mix of Divergent and Hunger Games. And just the amount of this book I've read so far, I really do see the Hunger Games vibes. It really is a mix of Divergent and the Hunger Games and I love it. Also, I haven't gotten to the romance part of this book yet, so I don't know who the couple is, but obviously Violet is in said couple. There's of course Dane, who's the best friend. If this book falls in the childhood friends to lovers trope, I wouldn't be mad about it. But I'm also getting a vibe between Violet and Zayden. I don't know if it's true, but from where I've read up to so far, Violet is attracted to Zayden. Every single interaction in this book between Violet and Zayden so far, I actually really like it. And I definitely think there could be something there too. Yeah, so as of right now, I don't know who Violet ends up with, but by chance, if it is Zayden, I think that'd be kind of amazing because then this book would fall in the enemies to lovers trope and that's my favorite trope. So my guess is either Dane or Zayden. I'm not sure who, but if it's neither of them, I'm gonna be so shocked. Where I'm at right now in the book, it's Threshing Day. Threshing hasn't started yet. I'm about to start that chapter. But for those of you who haven't read the book yet, Threshing is basically when the dragon chooses the rider. As a cadet, your options are basically to bond with the dragon or die in the field or not bond with the dragon. And if you don't bond with the dragon, that means you repeat the year. Even though Violet's small, I definitely think she's gonna bond with the dragon. I don't think it's a spoiler. I think it's just kind of assumed because the book wouldn't move on if she doesn't have a dragon, right? That's what I think at least. I don't know. Let's just keep reading. Okay guys, I'm 207 pages in. Some things happened. Violet now is a dragon. There's also a little bit of romance in there. And I can't say anything because I said this is gonna be a spoiler-free reading vlog, but oh my God. I am just in shock right now. I literally can't even put into words my feelings right now. I'm just gonna leave it at I'm in shock. Hi guys, it's a new day. I am here with another fourth link update. Every single moment in this book between Violet and her dragon, I am absolutely loving it. There's just so much sarcasm in their banter and it's really, really funny. This next thing I'm gonna say, I'm also kind of sad about it, but Dane, 
He's just getting on my nerves. In my opinion, he just seemed like such a good best friend at the beginning of the book. But as time went on, he's still a good guy and I think he means well. But he just has to take a step back in my opinion. He's just very protective over Violet. Which is a fair reason because he doesn't want to see his best friend die. But in my opinion, he's just so protective over Violet that it seems like he's doubting her. And it breaks my heart a little bit. I mean, I wish he was a little bit more supportive of Violet and her wants. I'm really hoping that as I keep reading this book, Dane will dial it back a little bit. Where I'm at right now in the book, something just happened to Violet. She's okay, but before I can only somewhat see what people mean when they say that this book gives Hunger Game vibes. But now after this event I just read about, I can a thousand percent see why people say that. This book can be quite intense, but it's just exhilarating to read. Also, while reading this book, I found out that they use the word mates, and they use it to describe two dragons that are meant for each other. Just reading that word in the book though, it made me think of the Court of Thorns and Roses series because they also use the word mates to describe two people who are meant for each other in that series. The last thought I want to share with you guys is that in this book Zayden is portrayed as this wing leader who's an absolute dick But I just saw a softer side to him and it just melted my heart I honestly think Zayden might become one of my book boyfriends I think I just have a thing for characters who seem like assholes and bitches on the outside But they're big softies on the inside Good morning guys, welcome to a new day. I am now 347 pages into fourth wing. Is it just me? But this book kind of gives me Harry Potter vibes as well. I think it's just the boarding school vibes and how they have professors and how there's also a tad bit of magic like they have powers. I don't know, it just really feels like this book is a combination of Divergent, Hunger Games, and Harry Potter. Anyways, today I'm pretty much at home all day so I'm gonna try to get as much reading done as I can. I don't think I'm gonna finish this book but I'm gonna try to see if I can come close to finishing it. Okay guys, it's so much later now. I've actually read quite a bit since I last talked to you guys. This book is so addicting, it's like I can't stop reading. But I thought it's time to give you guys a little reading update. So Violet has actually gotten her signet. Basically a signet is a power a dragon rider has. That is a combination between a dragon's power and the rider's ability to channel. It is a power that reflects who the rider is at the core of their being. But yeah, Violet has discovered her signet and oh my god. The way it happened, it's just crazy. And her signet itself is just crazy too. I've also gotten deep into the romance part and it's so spicy and my heart is so happy. I wish I can tell you who the couple is, but I'm not going to. All I'm going to say is that I absolutely love them together. One thing I will say that's frustrating me a little bit is how so many people think Zayden is still up for blood and wouldn't put it past him to possibly start another war. He's done so many honorable things and it's so clear through his actions and I honestly believe he has 100% proven his loyalty to Navarre. I know he's the villain in this book, but I still hate seeing him being responsible for something that wasn't his doing. It's his dad that did evil. And everything that happened and now him wearing that on his shoulders is just unfair. I'm currently on page 431. I have about 70 pages left of this book. I want to finish this book tonight, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to it. I'm just gonna try my best to finish it. Let's just keep reading. crazy the kinds of things life throws at you i never knew i'd feel so safe in your arms now hi guys it is the next day I did end up finishing Fourth Wing last night. I stayed up super late last night just to finish it and then I immediately crashed. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is I finished the book and it is time for me to give you a spoiler free review. Throughout reading this book, I literally could not contain my emotions. There's just so many times where I found myself smiling and laughing uncontrollably and that rarely happens to me when I'm reading a book because I'm usually really good at containing my emotions. This story was just amazing and it was such a page turner and I loved every minute of this book. It's been so long since I read a fantasy that's this addictive. There were nights where I stayed up reading this book and eventually when I went to bed, I was still thinking about the story and the characters while trying to fall asleep. This book I know for sure will live in my head rent free. I honestly don't remember the last time I felt this way about a book. I think the last time I felt this way about a book was when I was reading the Court of Thorns and Roses series and that was almost two years ago. After finishing this book though, I have to say this book is a combination of Divergent, Hunger Games, and Throne of Glass. 
I enjoyed all those series, so no wonder I love this book too. I honestly loved everything about this book. The world, the dragons, the action, the romance, and of course the characters, and even all the conversations they had. I loved it all. In terms of characters, I loved Violet the most. She's sarcastic and feisty, but she has such a kind heart and she's super brave. She does so many things in the books that I wouldn't even dare to try. So if you're looking for a book with a strong female character, I'd suggest you give this book a try. I also wanted to talk about the romance in this book as well. You know I'm obsessed with the couple in this book. I'm not gonna tell you the romance trope of the story though because that would give you spoilers, but I will say the romance in this book was developed really well because it was written at a very believable pace. I am someone who's incredibly picky when it comes to romances because I feel like a lot of the times the romance is developed way too fast that it comes off as unrealistic. But the romance in this book took its time and it felt so, so real. The dragons in this book also stole my heart. It's kind of hard to believe because dragons are these fire-breathing creatures that can literally scorch you alive, but they really did win me over. I also want to say the flow of this book was written really well. I would say this book is a medium-paced book, but I still flew through it because so many things happened. It was like event after event event so the story never plateaued and so I never felt bored. The writing of this book was also so easy to digest. One of my worries about reading a fantasy is indeed the writing because sometimes I get scared that there's going to be a ton of world building and I'll just get lost in it but I didn't feel that way at all with this book. In this book there was also a lot of twists and turns and it also had a massive plot twist near the end that I did not expect. Overall, this book was absolute perfection, though I might be biased though because I'm sure you can tell I love this book a lot. I ended up giving this book 5 stars, but if I could rate it 6 stars, I would. This book is definitely on my all-time favorite shelf. And I have already pre-ordered the second book in the series, Iron Flame, which comes out in November. I seriously cannot wait to see where this story goes. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog. If you read Fourth Wing and you want to share your thoughts, please do comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. But for those of you who are watching this vlog and haven't read fourth wing yet i highly recommend you add this to your tbr okay that is it for this video be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel while you're at it because there will be more book videos on my channel and if you want to stay up to date with what i'm currently up to when i'm not making videos for you guys be sure to follow me on all of my social media platforms i will have all the links to my social media profiles in the description box below okay guys i will see you in the next one bye pull the key out the ignition run your mouth but i never listen you hold me back we'll never last keep talking all your shit wondering how all this started you left me broken hearted you flip my words yeah this love hurts keep talking all your shit